Alrighty guys, what is going on? It is Joseph here, back for another LEGO Star Wars video here today. And today we're going to be going over five different things you guys should do when building a clone army. Let's get right into the video, shall we? Now guys, remember that before we get into today's video, I'm doing a free LEGO Star Wars set giveaway at 1,000 subs. It's either going to be a 501st Battle Pack or an AAT, depending on what the winner chooses. So please make sure to like and subscribe. Alrighty guys, so the first thing I have for you guys is that you need to make sure that you have a good display area or base plates or something to that sort of degree to display your clone army. It's really important and in my opinion having a good shelf display or nice base plates for your army really makes it stand apart and look a lot better than what it would normally look if there really wasn't too much organization or decoration at all. Get some nice shelves, make your army look nice, set it up, make sure it looks good so people can see it and really admire it and you can admire it yourself because having a good display really makes your army look a lot bigger and a lot better. Anyways guys, the next rule I have for you guys is to make sure to organize your clone army in some sort of way. This could be by color, by rank, by unit, by faction, anything you want to do really. As long as you organize it because if you have your clones kind of jumbled all over the place, it really is going to make your army look kind of weird and out of place. And I feel like honestly most people get this down pretty much subconsciously when they're organizing their clones, which is usually kind of fun. But at the end of the day, just make sure your army is organized. Maybe you organize it by, you know, whether the clones are canon or legends or maybe you have named characters in one section, colors units, maybe pilots are in one section, maybe you have an officer section, just that kind of stuff. Just make sure your army's organized because it really makes it look a lot better. Now the third tip I have for you guys is to have some custom minifigures in your army because the truth is LEGO's not going to make every single clone trooper that exists and it sucks but it is what it is. And in fact they don't even make some of the more popular clone troopers such as Fives. It's just Commander Fox in Phase 2, heck even Commander Cody Phase 2 still does not exist to this day which is really astonishing and mind blowing but it is what it is and you know will LEGO ever make these minifigures? Who knows? But ultimately maybe you can get some custom minifigures for cheap prices that you know can really fill out and make your army more complete and fill the voids that you have in your collection because sometimes getting that Commander Cody Phase 2 is really you know what's going to complete your army and although some of these minifigures can be expensive like on clone army customs and other websites you can get some other custom ones for cheap that are maybe hand painted on ebay like i have in the past and ultimately they look fine look good and you know they really make your army a lot better you know you're gonna have to find out what you want maybe you like decals custom prints maybe you like hand painting things maybe you want to make you know some of your own custom troopers you know whatever you want to do having some custom minifigs makes your army more unique and more special to you i guess and really kind of shows your personality and all that good stuff so make sure you guys have some custom minifigures to complete your army now the fourth tip in my opinion is a little bit more subjective and one that I guess I don't necessarily recommend going after as much and that's kind of choosing a look and having an identity for your army. If you want to go all plain, you know, Clone War style phase one clone troopers, go for that identity. If you want to have more of a mixed and diverse clone army like I do myself, go for that look. Try to, I guess, find an identity for your clone army. If you want to get all five of first troopers, go after that. Make sure you pursue that goal. All 332nd troopers, go after that goal and identity, I guess you could say. Just don't like mix your clone army around too much and just kind of know where you want to be and know what you want to have because sometimes you can mix things up and you know that's no fun and this one's kind of kind of out there kind of subjective but ultimately kind of having an identity and a vision you know for your clone army is really helpful and can really make your army a lot better and make the process just much more streamlined and easy to do when you're collecting your clone minifigures and setting up your army now the fifth tip for you guys is pretty important in my opinion, but kind of subjective, really depends on what you want to do. And that's just don't invest all your resources into one minifigure. Don't really scam yourself and rob yourself, I guess, of getting a bigger army because sometimes a lot of people want some of these more expensive old clone minifigures that they missed out on. And although these guys can be really cool to have and really unique, you missed out on them and it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I'm not saying you shouldn't go after these minifigures and obviously, you know, if you wait longer, they're going to end up costing more money. But sometimes is it worth it to get the Phase 2 Captain Rex for 100 bucks when you can get, you know, three 501st battle packs and therefore 12 more clones and those are also 501st clones right and then you can wait for maybe another 501st you know rex to come out you know what i'm saying chances are lego's gonna make another captain rex you can get a better version for cheaper and you know things are gonna work out great right so just be careful of that because sometimes some of these clone minifigures can get really expensive really pricey and uh you know that is the way it is with a lot of lego sets you know star wars all that good stuff minifigures it just sucks that these things get so expensive but it is what it is you know so make sure you're smart don't invest all your resources into one minifigure because at the end of the day, it is still one minifigure, even if it's very unique, very cool. And it can be really frustrating that, you know, that's the way it is, but it is what it is, I guess. So just be smart about that. Be smart about your money and uh, make sure you get what you want to do. Anyways, though, guys, tip number six is a bonus tip here, and that's just to have fun and enjoy your army because ultimately it is your army. And if you really do want that Captain Rex Phase 2 from 2013 for $100, go get it because if you want it, might as well get it now before it gets more expensive, right? But who knows? Maybe Lego will make another one. Hopefully, right? At the end of the day, enjoy yourself, though. It's your army. Have fun. Make it, you know, whatever you want to make it. And, uh, you know, let you be you. Don't let anyone else control what you want to do. Anyways, guys, though, before today's video ends, I just want to ask you guys, what tips do you guys have for me? You know, what, what do you guys do when you guys are building your clone army or even just a minifigure collection? Please let me know down in the comments below. I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. 
and we'll move on. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time on JT Bricks.